G'day guys, Greg here. Well, it is product review time again, and today I'm going to be reviewing this product right here! Golden Wok Diana Chan's Korean Beef Dumplings. Oh boy, I can't wait to try her dumplings. Only because it says here that Diana Chan was the 2017 Master Chef winner. <laughs> Not what you're thinking! Or was it? But I've seen these products in the supermarket for a while now and I was always wondering what her dumplings would taste like. So, well today I'm going to give it a go. Now there is some uh, spiel on this box, so let's give it a read. History. Golden Wok has been producing quality products for 40 years. Wow, I tell you what, these Asian women can really hold their age well. She looks like she's in her 30s. Since the establishment of the family business, it has been a legacy of the company to only use fresh quality ingredients. And then they show this picture of the fresh ingredients inside the dumpling. I tell you what, that must be a mighty big dumpling to fit a carrot that size inside. And it looks like they've got a whole range of different dumplings as well. <laughs> anyway, how about we find out what's inside these dumplings by reading the ingredients list. <laughs> Alright. Ingredients, pastry, 31%. Wheat flour, what a vital wheat gluten. I didn't know wheat gluten could be vital. I thought it was most of the times it was vital that it, well, it wasn't there. Beef, 24%. Cabbage, onion, carrot, rice, vermicelli, rice, water, soya sauce, uh, uh, sugar, wheat, starch, cooking wine, sesame oil, ginger, and pepper. Wow, there's hardly any ingredients in there at all, which is really good, I reckon. The less ingredients, the better. And there's no like numbers in there either to get the kids all hyped up and run around the backyard like setting off firecrackers. But I wonder how nutritious these things are for us. Well, let's find out. Energy per 100 grams is 862 kilojoules. So if there's 230 grams in a box, that would be 2 times 862, that would be 16, 1740 plus uh, about, uh, that would be, I don't know, about uh, 1900 kilojoules for the box. So I could eat like four or five boxes of these a day and stay within my average daily intake. Whew, that sounds like a lot of kilojoules per healthy thing. Are these really that healthy for you? Protein, 8.5%. Fat total, 6.9% fat! Where's the fat coming from? All I can see is some onions and carrots. Must be that Aussie beef. I know my Aussie beef can get pretty fat sometimes. Carbs, 26.2%. With sugar, 4.7%. And sodium at 420 milligrams. That's like half your daily salt intake if you ate the whole, uh, the whole packet. Whew. Gee. Anyway, thought they were healthy for us, but they're obviously like not as healthy as I thought they would be. Or are they? Anyway, let's look at these out of the box. Okay, Diana, time to whip out your dumplings. Oh, this is broken. I want a new bag. But, uh, yeah, well, there's uh, Diana's dumplings. Not as, as, as impressive as I thought they would be, but I still haven't put one in my mouth yet. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I wonder how you cook these things. Well, you can either pan fry, which is recommended, steaming, deep frying, or boiling in soup. You know what? I think I'm going to steam these bad boys. So, let's see. Steaming. Steam dumplings over rapidly boiling water for approximately 15 minutes or until heated through. Well, that sounds easy. Let's do it. All right, well, I've got my steamer today. Haven't used this for, well, probably since I bought it from the op shop for like a dollar. So I boiled some water. Wow, nice! Put that on top. I'll just let that get to, so it's rapidly boiling. Is this rapidly boiling yet? Oh yeah, it is! Sweet as! I'll take that off. Get into this bag of dumplings. And dump them in. I wonder if that's why they call them dumplings, because you, you like dump them. <laughs> anyway, lid back on and I'll cook those for 15 minutes. Alrighty, well the time has gone off. Let's suss it out. Whoa! Wow! They look amazing! 
So we better get them off the steam and onto a plate. Or into a bowl. Gee, they look wrinkly. Looks like me after I've been for a swim in ice cold water. Well, there you go. There's Golden Wok Diana Chen's Korean beef dumplings. Can't tell you how long I've waited to, to taste one of her dumplings. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that's nice. That's what it looks like on the inside. Oh, wow. I got a bit of a spicy kick then in the back of my throat. I don't remember reading chili on the back of the ingredients list, but wow, something really kicked me in the back of the throat. Maybe it was the ginger. Now I know that you're not supposed to just eat them plain. Come off it. I'm a man of the world. So let's make a sauce for it. Get a little bowl there. I got some ginger here. Don't know how long I've had this for. I'm sure the expiry date will let me know. Oh no! That's all right, ginger doesn't go off right. And uh, what about some garlic? Uh, better put some of that in too. With some soy sauce. Give that a mix. All righty. Yeah, dip that in. Amen to that. Well, there you go, Diana Chan's Korean beef dumplings. Yeah, these are pretty tasty. They're, they're pretty nice, and uh, they've got a real kick to them as well. A real spicy sort of kick. I don't know where the spice is coming from, but it's there. So if you're not into spice, you might not find that this is the product for you. Is it an awesome tasting dumpling? Well, yeah. if this is a MasterChef winning recipe, then... <laughs> Then why aren't I on MasterChef winning every season? Oh yeah, that's right. You've got to apply. And let's face it, I wouldn't stand a chance. Anyway, there we go. Is this something that you've tried before? Have you tried the other flavors? If you have, let me know which one's the best. Will you be going out to buy this product now that you've seen this video? If you have, and you go through the checkout, let them know that Greg has sent you, and they'll give you a free... What on earth are they talking about? Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time for my next product review. See you then. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen, where the reviews are finger